Okay guys, we are on to checking vowel face depth. So what we have here is a little micrometer with a base. Um, this one is one that we just picked up off of eBay somewhere with a nice little set. Um, you know, it's just a little depth micrometer. Um, so anyway, what we wanted to show here is the process of checking valve face depth. This is especially important, like last we talked about piston protrusion last time, um, and here we're talking about the depth um, of the valve in relation to the surface of the cylinder head. Now this is something that you do after you get it back from the machine shop. This would influence, uh, like if you're running a some kind of aftermarket cam and they give you a spec like a 188 220 where they're they're asking for on like a 12 valve it's at least 50 thousandths of um, valve face depth on a 24 valve I believe it's 20 or 38 thousandths for the valve face depth those are just numbers to give you an idea so don't you know don't quote that do your own homework but believe off the top of my head that's what they're they're asking for and so what we do just to show you we've done all 24 of these valves um, what we've got here is we've got this depth gauge and you can see that is 100 thousandths right there if we roll it back this is in increments of 25 so that would be a little shy of a hundred thousandths, that would be one full rotation shy, which would be seventy-five thousandths. And what we do is we place this flat against the surface, and we would roll it back. I'm doing this one-handed, so it's going to be very tricky. We would, and this takes a gentle feel to it. We would roll it back, and then we would roll it forward. You know, so we make sure that we're not touching. Um, we're not touching the face of the valve when we start. Um, we're flat against the deck of the cylinder. We would Then we would roll it in till that bottoms out. And we're gonna see that happen in just a second probably. Oh, we've already hit it actually. Probably hit it before we started. Let me go ahead and roll it back some. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna place that flush against the cylinder head. And again, this is incredibly difficult one-handed. And you're going to roll it till it stops. So there, I, I know from using this one that we just passed 50 thousandths. And we're coming up on 75. And that feels like it just bottomed out. So that's the number four cylinder. And we would say, okay, well, we feel that it just bottomed out, it bottomed out it we're gonna say for the sake of this 59 thousandths because if we roll this back that would be that would be 50 thousandths because 25 plus 25 two full rotations and then we would get back over to where we were and that is how we measure valve face depth so we go until it's till it bottoms out and it's a gentle feel you don't need to brutalize it. It's something where you just stick it on there. And you can feel when it stops. Like there, it's already it's already past it. So even doing this one-handed, there it is, right there. So even doing it one-handed, you can see just how gentle a feel that is once it bottoms out. Because otherwise you can force the depth gauge to go ahead and back the, your flat surface here away from the head and then you get an inaccurate reading. So using two hands you can get a pretty good feel for what that feels like and then what we do is because we found that when you're working in the future you want to know all of these things like we talked about piston protrusion. You may want to know that when you're running down a problem. So write everything down. We've got our ring gap, we've got piston protrusion, we have valve face depth, and this is 24 valve, and so I just did, I did it in the shape of the ports. So intake, intake, so one, two, three, four, I just numbered them, I gave them numbers, doesn't matter, but I can look over here and know that that's one, two, three, four. 
So when you're going ahead and you're checking valve face depth, those are just some actual nitty gritties of what it would look like. Um, write it down. Don't just assume that you will always remember because you probably won't. We know that because we've done that once. So anyway, we're going to go ahead now that we've checked our, our valve face depth, we're going to go ahead and put this on the motor and get our gasket in place and get it torqued down. And we will show you that process. We'll go ahead and prep this head and prep the block and we'll show you that process as the next step.